What is the cutest mistake you've ever seen someone make? Six-year-old. Daddy, can you buy me a German? Me. A German. That's a person from Germany. You can't buy people. Six-year-old. But I want to write on it and make pictures like my friends. Me. I'm not sure they would like that. It took a couple of more questions for me to realize. He wanted a journal. Not a German. Nor really a mistake per se, but super cute. My friend's dad is Italian. They moved to Germany in the 60s and have lived here ever since. A few years ago, he was caught speeding. Not very much over the limit by a stationary speeding camera. He noticed the flash go off and asked his daughter what would happen now. She told him not to worry and that he'd get his ticket in the mail. But he was so worried about having broken the traffic laws that he went to the police station the day after and told them I did it. He was obviously asked to explain what he did. And after telling them that he was the one who went above the speed limit yesterday, I guess the cops had a bit of a chuckle, thanked him and told him he'd get mail. Coworker was born and raised in Armenia had only lived in the United States for about two years. She mostly mastered the English language really quickly, except one day when she was leaving work, she pokes her head into the break room and says to us, okay guys, I'm leaving, rest in peace. Uh, I think you mean peace out. What's the difference? Rest in peace is what you say to show respect for a dead person. That's what rest in peace means. Why didn't anyone tell me that? I've been saying it to customers for months. That poor baby was crying his balls off, Indian grandmother, trying to say he was bawling his eyes out. Almost the same thing, but not quite. I told my four-year-old cousin to let her dad know that his phone rang. She ran up to him and just started singing the ringtone back to him. So precious. A few months ago, my six-year-old little girl was eating dinner. She let out a burp and said fart on me. I waited a minute and asked what she said. She explained I said fart on me. It's what you say when being polite. Me and my wife smiled and told her it's actually part of me. Kid at my daughter's school called me Mr. Daddy. There was a young guy on the train, probably early 20s, who was telling me he had pretty much never left his tiny hometown and was on the way to the city to start his new job. He was on the phone to his mom incredulous that there were no seat belts on the train. My mom moved to the United States from Germany. And the first time she went grocery shopping, she was amazed at all the things you could buy in cans. She excitedly came home with a can that showed a beautiful cooked turkey on the side. It was Crisco. At a big box store, trying to keep my kids occupied while my wife checked out, told my three-year-old it was time to leave. And she went tearing after a woman who was dressed the same as my wife opened her arms and hugged the lady from behind, with her face planted into the lady's rear end. I was laughing the lady was laughing the three-year-old was scared and confused. Friend and her family except for her mother are extremely clumsy. One time, her father got locked out of the house, waited for her to come home. But she also forgot her keys. So they waited for her brother, who also forgot his keys. They ended up all waiting for the mother was in a waiting room in a hospital. And a little girl asked her father what was on his name tag. The father told her it was his name. And the little girl said, I thought daddy was your name. My SO was a fluent but non-native English speaker. One night, he was talking about a particular event and how everyone would wear tuxedos and nightgowns. Took me a second to realize that he meant evening gowns. But I thought it was adorable. Yet another genuinely weird moment in the English language. We had a new girl in my office. She was very bubbly. So she fit right in when everyone was joshing around. One day, we all got sushi and she said, I love wasabi. Then, eats a giant glob of wasabi and runs out of the room with tears coming from her eyes and sweat pouring out of her face. It was really cute. We gave her a hard time about it. Once I worked as a cashier in Ikea. A man came and he had his four, five-year-old son with him. While I was beeping the items, his son kept asking me if I wanted to become daddy's girlfriend. And when his father tried to silence him, he just yelled, but why can't she be your girlfriend? Over and over again. Super cute. Now boyfriend accidentally messaged me instead of his friend. 
When I'd gone to the bathroom on our first date, I hadn't checked my phone, but came back to find him with his head in his hands, asking him what's up. He refuses to say anything and looks up, bright red and visibly cringing so hard I thought he was about to implode. He eventually tells me what's happened, realizing I'm oblivious at this point. I offered to let him take my phone and erase it, but he said he didn't want me to think it was anything bad, so refused. Opening my WhatsApp, I read I can't believe it bro. She's amazing. Same page as me. Bearing in mind the date was just a few hours in and had been going really well. It was so nice to read and I wasn't weirded out at all having already decided I really liked him. But having no real idea if he was in the same boat, he, however, is mortified and tries to go back to playing it cool, but just starts cringing again every few minutes. I eventually can't deal with how bad he's feeling. So grab the boy's face and planted one on him. Rest of the date goes amazingly and we organize another. Year later, we're mad happy. Found my one hopefully. We often talk about how our lives may have gone on had that not happened cutest mistake ever. My wife is dyslexic. She can read just fine, but it's mostly due to memorizing what words look like. She is pretty bad at sounding out unfamiliar words. We play Pokemon Go. The way she mispronounces most of the Pokemon's names is adorably cute. My sister was about 10 and making a poster about saving the environment. It was titled Green is our sum. Sis and Law took my nephew in for a few tests because they thought he had a learning disability. He couldn't speak then, so the doctor would say a word. Then my nephew would have to point to the object Doc was referring to. When Doc asked my nephew for bird, my nephew pointed to his crotch because bird is Filipino slang for dick. Sis and Law had to suppress her laughter while Doc was very confused. One of my friends from high school, asked me about my family's ancestry. I told her that I knew my dad's family was French, my brother, who was probably six years old at the time, heard us talking and he asked what about Africa. I asked him what he meant, and he said, Dad is African American. Our dad is just really tan. My boyfriend had a brain injury for months ago. He was in a coma for about a week. And when he woke, he had to relearn how to speak coherently all over again. The speech therapist had a session with me present so that I could practice these lessons with him at home. The therapist would say a word and my boyfriend would have to give him a synonym or definition. The therapist said happiness and my boyfriend pointed to me and said my name. I did a weird mixture of crying, laughing and the therapist told him no. That's incorrect and my boyfriend pouted and frowned and didn't quite understand his mistake. It's a memory I think of a lot when we're going through a particularly rough patch. My wife's first language is Spanish. The first time she saw a slug, she exclaimed, look, it's a snail without his house. We were hiking on a trail and passed a little boy about four and his parents missed what led up to it, but he suddenly yelled, I'm getting mad over here, very dramatically, and stomped to the edge of the path. We burst out laughing. And the parents cracked up too. This was years ago. But we still randomly say that we're getting mad over here. Cashier handed me back the money I used to pay for a donut. My then seven-year-old nephew and I were watching a TV show. And one of the characters called another girl a butterface to insult her. My nephew looked at me with confusion, said butterface, and looked back at the TV. I was about to explain to him what that insult meant. But then a look of comprehension crossed his face. Oh, cause she's got blonde hair. So her bangs look like a hunk of butter on her forehead. I get it. I thought his definition was hilarious. So I didn't bother correcting him. A while ago, I was in the mall on a crowded day when suddenly I felt a tiny hand clasp my palm. A little girl, maybe five, had mistaken me for her mom and held my hand and started wrapping herself around my leg. It was so sweet and I knew it would frighten her when I pointed out her mistake. But when I did her confused expression was priceless. She continued to hold my hand while we walked around looking for her mom. It was extra cute because I remember doing that myself as a kid. Was at my local Target where a little girl was with her parents. She was twirling round in circles 
and completely face planted into the ground. Like face down as up face plant. I was expecting full blown tears and screaming to enrage from this child. But instead, she happily sang, I'm okay, and got up and twirled again. Thought it was the cutest thing in the world. When the kids I work with accidentally call me mom and then get all flustered, I know they're mortified, but it's super cute. I visited my mother. She told me her internet is not working and wanted me to fix it. I looked at the Wi Fi router and found she plugged the Ethernet cable from the Wi-Fi router to the same router, creating a loop and not being connected to anything else. I saw my sister-in-law throw the banana in the trash. Instead of the peel, she's not a morning person. My three-years-old daughter thinks our car runs on farts because I told her I needed to put gas in it. I was walking around a mall with my three-year-old niece when she suddenly spotted a service dog wearing a vest gasped and said look auntie a superhero dog she was not wrong one time my mom and i were visiting my then 80 year old grandmother and my mom had recently bought herself a nintendo ds so she gets it out to show nana and says oh hey mom i wanted to show you this neat thing i got nana looked at it and said innocent leo is that a twitter when my now ex gf came to visit me in london during her spring break I was walking around Heathrow looking for her at Rivals, and she saw me first. She sprang up to run to me and trip over her bags. It was the cutest moment of my life. I had gone on a couple dates with a Brazilian girl. She was a foreign exchange student, and her English wasn't the greatest. The first time we were going to hang out alone, I let her know I was on my way. She responded with butterflies on my belly. To this day, it makes me smile. My friend thought that the world melancholy meant happy. He was constantly wandering around joyfully exclaiming, God, I feel so melancholy. There was that redditor who asked what a flaming yawn was. Because he, she couldn't find it through Google, but his, her friends talked about it. Turns out they were thinking of a filet mignon. Not one I saw, but did myself. So when I was younger, about 10, I went with my father to get the car cleaned at the car wash. Now I saw a sign that said full polish so I proceeded to ask my dad. Why do they only hire polished people here? He about died laughing and would bring it up for years. When I first started crushing on my now husband back in college, I would always refer to him to my friends as that tall, cute, Asian guy. He's about six feet, white, and has very dark features. Learned after we started dating that he's Native American and Italian, 11 years later. He still won't let it down. I took my seven-year-old niece to a restaurant yesterday, and we sat at a high top with my friend. My niece and I were getting up to wash our hands, and she fell off of her chair. I picked her up and walked to the bathroom. She was crying and I asked her if she heard anything, and she said no, Kaitlin. Just my pride. I've got a friend named Preeti. One time, Preeti and I were volunteering at an elementary school. As part of our high school community service organization, and we were introduced to the kids as Miss Time Traveling Ninja and Miss Preeti. When one of the kids asked Preeti to go to the bathroom, the kid said Miss Beautiful, and it was all I could do to not say all right in front of the kid. My daughter has asked to cuggle since she could talk. Someday she'll learn it's cuddle, but it won't be from me. My husband and I were on our third date. When he suddenly looked up from his food and asked, are we on a date? After a moment of confusion, I informed him that we were, in fact, on a date and that it was our third. Oh, good. I'd been hoping, evidently. He had a number of girlfriends in the past who took going out to eat as the same as hanging out. He'd usually insist on paying because he's a nice guy and held to jobs. His response to me telling him it was our third date simultaneously melted my heart and stabbed my self-esteem straight in the head. My father is a now retired FBI agent, but back in the day, if he had to carry his gun with him in public, he would put it in a fanny pack because he always said, who would ever expect an FBI agent to be the dork wearing a fanny pack? Anyway, we were visiting my grandmother in the hospital who wasn't all there. He was wearing tan pants and his trusted black fanny pack. My grandmother took one look at him and said, why the hell are you wearing a Speedo? Overheard my cute 
and somewhat ditzy co-worker at work answer the phone. She asked his name, and then paused. Well, which is it? Jose Ortega? Obviously, his name was Jose Ortega. Everyone around her couldn't contain their laughter. Not seen, but heard. It's the story of how my stepdad and mom met. He was teaching a basic computing course back in the 90s. And my mom was and still is very technologically inept. She was having some problems with a word processing document and needed help with something. So my stepdad comes over to her desk and figures out the problem in a couple of seconds. Instead of fixing it for her, he considered it a learning opportunity and guided her through fixing it herself. Okay, so right click here. And my mom wrote the word click. He says it was both hilarious and adorable and took all that he had not to burst out laughing. My mom is always embarrassed whenever he tells the story.